Hello everybody. Welcome to our video solutions to quiz seven. This is from spring 2023, Math 302 at Cal State Fullerton. And this is our first problem. Our first problem, we are going to compute the order of 2023 modulo 10. So a reminder that when we want to compute the order of an element modulo, well, some modulus, what we're going to do is start taking powers of this number. So 2023 in this case. And uh, so this is like the most brute force, nasty way of doing this, where we would say, okay, let's take 2023 and raise it to the first power. And then 2023 and raise it to the second power and 2023 and raise it to the third power and so forth. And we continue, right? Continue until you find a power k such that 2023 to the k is congruent to 1 modulo 10. Okay, well, that would be like the worst case scenario. Well, actually, the real worst case scenario is that no such k exists, right? So there's a little caveat. Or you decide no such k is possible. Okay, and whatever k you find, that is the order. If you can't find such a k, then the order is infinity. It would be really, really annoying to start computing powers of 2023 and then at the end reduce the modulo 10. But we don't have to because Gauss told us we can always reduce first. When we're doing addition and we're doing multiplication, reduce then do your operations, then reduce again, right? You just reduce all the time. So what I wanna do is reduce 2023 modulo 10 before I start taking powers. And reducing modulo 10 is, is really great. You just take the last digit, which in this case is a three, okay? Uh, why is that? Well, uh, you know that when you write down any number, you can put it into base 10 and it looks like something like a0 times, or plus a1 times 10, plus a2 times 10 squared, plus, uh, and so forth, right? a3 times 10 cubed, and you'll stop at some point, right? Maybe a n times 10 to the n. And if we reduce this modulo 10, then all of these 10s become zero. Okay, so each of these tens is a zero. Okay, and that's because, well, we know that 10 divides 10 <laughs> minus zero, right? 10 is congruent to zero mod 10 because 10 divides 10. Okay, so this implies 10 is congruent to zero modulo 10, right? Generally speaking, when we do some sort of modulo, right? Specifically in the modular integers, but even very often uh, in some other cases, we're basically the thing we mod out by, in this case 10, we're treating as a zero. So in this case, all of our tens become zeros. And so this is congruent to a naught modulo 10. Oh, but that's great. A naught is just the units digit. So 2023 is congruent modulo 10 to three. So what we're actually going to do in practice is just take powers of three. So let's try that. Three to the first is, well, it's congruent to three because it's actually equal to three. Okay, how about three squared? Three squared is equal to nine, which is congruent to, well, nine mod 10, but also it's congruent to negative one. Now, why am I happy about that? Well, because we had a little result in class that told us as soon as we find negative one as the power, then we know that the order we're going to achieve by doubling this power, okay? Now, it doesn't mean any time you have three to the k is congruent to negative one that the, power, the order is 2k. It just means if this is the first time that the power gives you negative one, then the order will be twice. Okay, so immediately from here, three squared can, being congruent to negative one would imply that the order of three is four, twice this power. Uh, if you don't believe it, you can just take another power and you say, okay, what's three cubed? Well, three cubed is gonna be three times negative one. 
Okay, mod 10, because we knew 3 squared was negative 1. So 3 cubed is just multiplied by another 3. So this is congruent to negative 3. And now what's 3 to the 4th? Well, we just multiply negative 3 by another copy of 3. Here, we'll put the 3 first. Another copy of 3, and so we get negative 9. But negative 9 is congruent to 1 mod 10. And ah, there we go. We can see that the order is 4. All right, so... Uh, Notice here, every time I'm doing my multiplications, I am reducing modulo 10 before I go on to the next step. Okay, whether it's the 2023 or uh, when I work around here and I, I, you know, change my negative nines into a one, like to make things easier, like I'm, or even a, a nine into a negative one, like I'm always at each step stopping and saying, okay, can I make this easier for the next step? Okay, you don't want to be sitting there the whole time going, okay, well now three to the first and three squared and three cubed and three to the fourth. And what is three to the fourth? Oh, I got to figure that out now. No, 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 we don't want to do that. All right, make your life easier. Okay, all right, we'll see you next time with problem two.